Thank you everyone for tuning in to our YouTube channel, Save Green Here. Once again, it's a pleasure to share some knowledge with you. And in this particular situation, being that our channel title is Save Green Here, we're going to show you how to save green. But this time we're gonna talk about your utility bill, particularly your electric bill. If you live in Florida, most likely your power company is Florida Power & Light. It could be Progress Energy. I believe that's the area in the Orlando area. I'm not sure. Or in the Southwest Florida region, which is where we are, we have a company called LCEC, which stands for Lee County Electric Cooperative. And we are now in July, actually July the fourth weekend, and many customers in this area have seen their bill jump up drastically. And we're going to show you with what we got on the screen, what is actually happening. And what I have here is a sample of two electric bills. You have one on the top and then you have a red dividing line showing the bottom bill and then the top bill. And while we're at it, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. We have also produced many videos on saving money on your electric bill. And in my personal situation, I worked for both Florida Power and Light and LCEC as an energy advisor. So I do have the experience as far as doing energy audits. And I, my job was basically to teach the consumer, the end user, how to lower their electric bill and give them energy conservation tips and tips that actually worked. So if you search our YouTube channel, you will see many, many videos on tips to save electricity. I will, I, I believe we also have a playlist. I will post it on the link in the description as well so you can find it easier. But anyway, going back to what we were talking about, many at this time of the year have had a increase incredibly high, 40 to 50% of what they're used to this time of the year. And what I'm showing you here is a bill that was billed on September 27th of 2020 so this is also going to help you how to read your electric bill so you don't so you know where the money's going and what exactly is going on so this bill ranged from august 27th to september 27th and the reading on the meter was this much this number on this date and then 30 days later on september 27th it was this reading so you take this reading if you get a calculator you take 86752 and subtract 85971 and your total is 781. That is the amount of kilowatts that you consumed on this bill. And the way that power companies bill you can vary. For example, Lee County Co-op plays really well if you stay under 500 kilowatts, you get the best rate. You're paying about seven and a half cents a, a kilowatt, a little bit more than seven and a half cents for the first 500 kilowatts you consume. And then for the next 500 kilowatts, you're getting billed at one cent per kilowatt more. So that's why you can see the differences here. So 281 kilowatts times 0 0.86, a little bit over eight and a half cents. And that's the total. And we're under a thousand, but then they have, it's called a tiered rate. So they go in tiers. The third tier is a thousand kilowatts and up. It's another charge that you're getting there. But in this case, 781 kilowatts total between 500 and 281. And this is your power cost adjustment. This is the amount that they're billing you based on what they're buying the power from their provider. Because LCEC is not a producer of electricity. Before they used to buy power from Seminole Electric, which is just up the state, now they're buying their power from Florida Power and Light. So whenever Florida Power and Light raises their rate to LCEC, then LCEC in turn raises it to their customers. The best way I can describe this to anyone watching this video and, and uh, paying attention to the information here is you have big cell phone companies like T-Mobile, but T-Mobile basically owns their lines. And then you have a company like Metro 
who's owned by T-Mobile, but Metro for many years was their own company, then they got bought off by T-Mobile. T-Mobile basically sold them the amount of data and all that, but they owned the lines, they owned the satellites. Same thing with AT&T, AT&T owns their satellites, but Cricket Wireless uses or leases AT&T's towers to sell you the power at a cheaper rate. It's basically like the prepaid cell phone providers. LCEC is like that. They don't generate their own power. They buy it from FPNL and then they sell it to the customer. Now, if you are an FPL customer, you're just your rates are just whatever FPNL puts on 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 your bill. So you might see something different than what you see here. But that's what the power cost adjustment is and in this case 781 kilowatts it was billed just a little bit over half a cent a kilowatt so this was a total 492 now this was in the year of september 2020 fast forward june 25th 2022 look at the same line here power cost adjustment and the reason why I'm using these two bills is because they're about the similar time of the year where it's hot and humid, but the kilowatts was very close to. It was 11 kilowatt difference from this bill to this bill. But look what happens here. Look what happens. The power cost adjustment. Okay. Now, instead of half a penny here, it's five and a half cents per kilowatt. So you're going to take this number, multiply it by 770. It's $42.74, and here was less than $5. So you can see there's already a discrepancy or a difference of over $35, and that is because FPNL raised their kilowatt cost, including the wholesale cost that they sell it to LCEC, and then in turn LCEC raises the consumer's power cost adjustment line. Therefore, for using about the same amount of kilowatts, 770 this year, compared to 781 in 2020, you had a bill of $89 here, and here you have a bill of $133.30. So about close to $45 difference. Now there's something else that, that also went up here, if you look closely, the public service tax for Cape Coral, in 2020, it was only $3.09. <clears throat> and then in this year, $8.33. So that also contributed to the increase. Now, what is this public service tax? Many cities will charge the power company a, a determined amount for having their light poles, basically, on their right away. The city owns everything. They own the sidewalks, the streets, everything. So they bill the power company every year X amount of dollars for having the power poles property, you know, those poles, the power company's poles on the city's property. And that's what this is. And if the city needs money, they need tax money, well, they raise that to the power company and then the power company in turn raises it to the consumer. They basically are asking the power company to be the collector for them for this tax. So that's why you saw a difference there where in 2020 it was just over $3 and now it's $8.33. And everything is pretty much going up. I mean, cost of fuel, if you go to the gas station is going up, cost of food is going up, everything is going up. And this is why you might have seen a jump on your electric bill this summer than you did last summer and the summer before. The reason I chose the one from 2020 is because the kilowatt usage was very, very close, 781, 770. And I wanted to show the viewer that even though the usage was about the same, the bill was drastically different. So this is something to keep in mind. Now, in the future, I may produce another video showing how electric bill, what you can do to your electric bill to lower it 
because there's nothing you can do about the cost. The cost is the cost. You're not going to go to the power company and tell them to lower the cost of the kilowatt. Just like you're not going to go to the gas station and tell the gas attendant that you don't want to pay close to $5 a gallon. It's not going to happen. But you can do things on your end to lower your electric bill. And I will post in the description videos that we've done in the past that will show you different tips that you can implement right away to lower your electric bill. And then in the future, we'll make another newer video showing that as well. But in the meantime, this is just an explanation to see what's going on, just so you understand how your electric bill is actually being read and what is going on when you get these uh, higher electric bills that you're not accustomed to. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button below. We greatly appreciate your support. And like I said, in the future, we will be producing another video for you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.